Hello and welcome to Geek Play Studio Tutorials. So we'll look on some atmospheres and one thing and nice about atmospheres you kind of mentioned about clouds. The clouds it's in a way the view generating this realistic uh, volumetric materials in an infinity plane. So let's look what we have it. If we add we're going to our collection of materials and you notice under clouds we have a different we have it comes meta clouds we have a different set of the clouds if you want it we have it spectral we have it second updated spectral two stratus and the volumetric clouds they're all good for different settings sometimes it's nice as mix it i find out personally that i use it some of the stratus clouds and spectral two clouds and combination they have it a very nice realistic looking effect of course you can use any other of them um, some of them come from the early versions like volumetric we just created layers the only spectral two and spectral clouds which allowed you kind of going through the cloud when you're flying over and go through the cloud because it's truly created these layers what i mean by layers let's create one of this set of clouds and we'll go zoom out you notice right here we have this layer of the clouds if we take our camera and move above look down so you can see right here in preview we have a nice clouds under us so with camera moving even through them we can fly inside the clouds passing clouds through inside and have this truly experience and best part this is very realistic because it's calculating based on the particles of the cloud. The clouds layers can be modified. Uh, spectral is what we kind of will construct. You'll notice right here we have a layer. We can actually manage with these clouds increase, decrease, change altitude from um, sliders or inside interactively. We can also readjust position. You can see it's changed. The other things also we can affect the clouds on the zone. So if I click right here, notice I created a zone of the cloud. If I move a little bit more far away, okay, so we can control it. If I click limited to the zone, notice now it's this zone that we saw before, it's right here. So you can actually take this infinity layer, separate just one zone and still have the same effect just only in one area okay let's go here we'll uncheck select the layer again we can modify it okay we can select the effect and you can see we have it nice area nice clouds that we can readjust bring closer you know overall in a way we like it so this is very nice effect on the clouds again you can Manipulate, you can add zones, effects, control them. Very powerful feature and this is actually will dissolve its own uh, tutorials just going over different clouds, how manipulate. You can change material in the clouds by double time clicking or right click and go to edit material. And this is special material. If you remember, we're using volumetric material for this. In lighting effect, you can select lighting mode. We we'll looked before on some lighting mode was available for us when we did it uh, hyper terrain. But right here you can see we have a flat layer of the clouds. We have the volumetric early one version one and volumetric version two, which provide higher details, which provide for us altitude, high modulation, all additional options. With the cloud modulations, we can actually affect how clouds will go over the terrain so they can also detect. Okay, so let's look right here. We have a function editor with a manipulation. You can edit and you can edit on a function. For example, if you need it, you can always change to different type of the clouds, work with additional effect as a density production. We have a filter that we can modify and adjust in a way that our density will work change function scale by tapping or sliding okay we also can um, apply the color layer details scaling overall 
roughness, variations, uniformity. Okay, so how it's smooth will be, how much grain um, kind of with the creation, so seeded when it's created. Cloud layer profile. Um, these options I do recommend check on the Cornucopia have it nice tutorials where we see how we can create almost nuclear kind of looking explosion. An example right here, we go on Cornucopia. You can see we're using by creating cloud shapes. For example, this is shape of the different clouds. We was controlling by using cloud layer profile. So this is tutorials. I have several of them about atmosphere. And we'll look right here. It's how to control areas more properly, shapes as well, how to increase in growing clouds. It's a special specialized just on the cloud tutorial. So if you're interested, check those tutorials. Um, next, we also have a cloud modulations that was added in a later versions, which allowed us make the shape of the clouds going over the mountains and animate them as well with the height modulations, density, how dense it will be cloud over. We have it options to change our volumetric color of the um, clouds. Don't uh, use it too dramatic you use if you possibly set all colors to look more natural. Okay, we also can use large scale density if we want to use it as planetary clouds. So for example, if we go way high in the sky we want to create look like cyclone. So we'll just enable loaded image and overall our planetary will density will apply try to fit the image we're uploading. Again, it is by the density Black is lower, white is highest density. Okay, next we have the lighting effect where we look already on different type of volumetric uh, one, two, and flat. We also have it internal shadows in the density. You can see how it's creating. We have it cast shadows on the ground right here. Ambient lighting, force ambient light. And this is actually a nice option to know that if you want to create very nice sunset, you can actually select just red and you'll notice how it will add this kind of reddish lighting so it's, you can create nice sunset clouds by forcing specific ambient color. Okay, we also have it uh, for our material setup, turbulence to make little bit rotation, cycling colors transformation to make the not look uh, parent so they look a little bit ununiform. We can also can set dissolve by near object if you notice when you have mountain and clouds going close to the mountains, they're kind of dissolving there. They're not just hit in, in some case. So right here you can uh, set this, how the clouds will dissolve by the um, nearest objects. The other interesting things to do when you animate it, this is property, will create more accurate in how the clouds may be going around the object. However, these options will take longer time to render. Okay, rest of the options, they're very similar to all material editor. So you can see how you can modify it. We have it also options to increase, decrease scale, as well as change materials. So you have three ways by double clicking, open, or right click and edit material this way. You also have an option to just randomize different, it's creating different random seed for your cloud material. So you can redo this over and over till you find one that you maybe like it. We have it options of altitude. Again, we can change altitude by dragging or by going and using slider to set altitude. Height of the layer. Okay, you can see our height of the layer. How much cover will use it currently? We can increase, decrease over all cloud. Density for this one currently it says very high density. By the slider, you can go up to 100, but you can always click in and type a value you wanted for the density. Okay. Said so the density is how density and opacity is also creating these better shadows. So in some cases, if you want to have this dimension personal, I like to take a little bit density down, put it opacity all away, and this has created this light summer clouds if you need it. Sharpness will add more details to the edge. However, the fairness and sharpness, they kind of need well balanced because fairness give it this 
effect of the anti-asking more enhanced patterns on the edges and details will bring more details however if your clouds are lower you want to increase details if your clouds are very high altitude you probably want to take the details way down so it'll have it a little bit more natural looking up above so let me restart altitude variations this is actually look if you look on the clouds right here on the top by increasing it will create more kind of looking uh, clouds so let me show you take our camera let's bring slightly above and we'll take altitude variation down 100 percent okay so with variation to the zero you will see almost flat top right here with the variation going all the way to 100 you will have it high and low it's kind of change variation on the top it's give it a little bit more details i do like more with altitude variation to 100 percent so it's give it you not know, this flat top it's look kind of nice clouds it's also help when you look under layer so for example we'll go put a camera right here And even with this, if we don't have 100%, it's get a little bit better details on the top of the cloud, so they don't look like it's a cut off. Um, next, ambient light. Again, it's a balance between non-ambient light and ambient light that's set in your uh, light tab. So we're going right here. We can set heavy ambient light, and you can notice how this ambient light will affect your clouds. Shadow density. It's how much shadows cast on a ground from the your clouds again heavier or more or less we also have the cloud animations that we can specify degree and directions of the clouds we're supposed to move velocity how fast they will go there and rate of change rate of change it's how much the clouds will morph morph from one shape to another you also can have this cloud and you can shape them in different look um, how you like it right here you can see we have a nice smooth look on the clouds very interesting on top because our very um, altitude very high so you can play with clouds and create very interesting effects and of course you can add as many as you want it so you can add more and more layers they will change order depend on your height and altitude each time when you don't need it you can delete it or just click on the eye so you will hide them from your render this way you can still have them and don't worry about deleting and recreating the clouds you can also if you go and edit you can save it as material and re reuse it if you want to save clouds with presets you need to save as atmosphere preset in this case so this is kind of fast overview of the cloud tab in your atmosphere editor